Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What is your favorite font of all time? All time. And if you say Comic Sans MS, so help me, I'm going to jump through this camera. Actually, I admit that I, I used to use Comic Sans, like, back in the day when I first started an HTML newsletter with Locker Gnome. I used to feature fonts on a regular basis, so please don't hold that against me. I'm a fontaholic. I've admitted that before. So if you have ever had the need to create a web page and you needed to tweak the way the font looked, you know, changing kerning, spacing, size, etc., uh, yeah, you may open up some kind of CSS editor and you're probably lost at that point because it's not easy. It's not fun. But there's a tool out there that may be able to help you. It'll tweak just about every font setting, at least in relation to CSS, that you could possibly think of. Right here at typetester.org. That's T-Y-P-E-T-E-S-T-E-R.org. Org. 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 That's it. Typetester.org. Got it? I know one of you guys is going to say, Is it that common? Is it that common? There's nothing there. There's your lorem ipsum dixit. And if you scroll down, first thing you do is choose your typeface from the list. And then you've got the safe list. These are uh, fonts that are likely installed in every computer, including Comic Sans MS. All right, just for argument, should we use it? All right, let's, let's use it just to tick everybody off. Or specify your own if you wanted to. Then you change the size, leading, tracking, alignment, word spacing, decoration, color, background, and apply it to different columns because there are three columns. So here is the default, uh, I guess, the, the, uh, the styling for the font. If I choose the size, I can bump it up to 2 EM, so that increased it there. Uh, change the leading, let's go to 2.1 EM. And the tracking, let's shrink it to 1 pix. There we go. Actually, let's go a negative five. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's that's exactly how I wanted my font. Uh, change the color if I wanted to. Alignment. We can right align it. Word spacing. Let's increase it a bit more. Oh, actually, that I'm sorry. That was in the second column there. But I guess we can move over to the second column. That's fine. Uh, let's decrease the leading to 0.6. All right. But let's also change the typeface here to Arial Black. All right, yeah, I like that. that. That's good for that one. Let's go over to column three if we wanted to. Blah, 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 blah. Let me scroll up here. Uh, there are the tools here. You've got the base font size, reset the settings, recent most wanted. Or when I've tweaked the font settings exactly how I want them, I can simply press this button, this button, or this button to get the CSS for any one of those columns. So the first column, I'll press first. And then here in the web browser window, let me zoom out again so we can see it here. In the first... Uh, there we go. And now I've got the CSS. This is something that I can place in my CSS document, the code, the CSS. And uh, that's it. That's, that's all you need to do. If you've ever wanted to tweak the font settings and you don't know a lick of CSS, anything about CSS, this is probably the easiest way that you're going to be able to handle it on the web. Again, without installing anything. Uh, very easy to use. Uh, and it's kind of fun, too. You know, you get to learn a lot about... Uh, the elements inside of CSS as well as with fonts and well in relation to fonts I should say uh, or typeface and uh, you know so, so if you get an idea of oh when I set the tracking to negative five it's kind of going to look like that or if I if I set the leading to two point one it's going to look like that so it's it's a learning experience and I would recommend it even if you don't know anything about CSS even if you don't want to edit a web page take a look. Because you're going to learn something. And you know what? They can't take that away from you. They can't take away your education. Just cannot. They could try. Uh, they, 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 they could you know, sh shove some kind of hook up your nose and, and pull your brains out. Uh, but uh, that's not fun, really. Not, not really recommended either. So again, the name of the website is typetester.org. Check it out. It's free. Don't need to register. Jump right in. And you're going to have a, a fantastic experience. My email address is chris at perillo.com. If you know of another web resource that uh, might be able to share with the rest of the community, drop me a line. Love to hear from you. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community of tech experts. 20,000 strong now. 
at geeks.perillo.com, and uh, we'd love for you to join us there. You can do just about anything. Embed your YouTube videos, upload audio, you know, your favorite MP3s, participate in the forums, there's blog posts, images, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, we've got the uh, the chat room here that's a part of the live video feed. And, you know, my tweets come in here. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chris Perillo. Uh, when we post videos, uh, you know, then the, the links from YouTube come in here youtube.com slash locker gnome if you haven't subscribed already and then of course the blog chris.perillo.com and then the live video feed of course that's going out over the web 24 hours a day seven days a week we are typically talking tech right here at live.perillo.com we'll see you later <laughs>